pretty happy with what I see in the mirror, but I know I can always be better. So every day I'm just chasing to, to dig deep and do whatever I can to make my physique better. Every other day I do abs or I do lower back extensions, so with my cardio. And then now we're uh, just getting Starbucks and I'm bringing, I always bring a coffee home to the wife and obviously for myself, I grab one and kind of get gets my day rolling. Awesome, thank you man. What a beauty, what a beauty. Reading Grimes here. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> We're now living in our new home here. Uh, so we had to come in here, um, get all new furniture, all new stuff, and it's it's been a it's been a blessing though because you know it's really really kept me busy during this time of prep. Uh, it keeps me on my feet and and keeps my mind um, away from like just kind of lounging around and like waiting for that next meal. I have a lot of stuff I can do. So I used to race motocross guys and. Uh, just my last birthday, June 26, I purchased another dirt bike for the first time in probably probably seven or eight years. So it was really cool, you know, a lot of memories, good times. I used to go to the track every weekend with my dad and my brother, and it was just what we did. So we raced uh, nationally, and it was it was uh, a lot of fun, a lot of injuries. Bodybuilding has been uh, better that way, <laughs> but both sports are very extreme. I have this app, every morning I step on the scale and get my weight, uh, and then I pretty much, right after that, I'm gonna take a little video of me posing and I send it to my coach, and then he adjusts. Sometimes the day of he'll make an adjustment, or the day, the next day. So yesterday when I woke up, I was 249.2, and then he said to have a high day, plus a cheat meal. So last night we had uh, like tons of food. Let's see what our weight is today. So 252.2. I bet you tomorrow that weight is below 249.2. We're not losing the look anyway. It's not It's not anything to do with the weight. Uh, we're just trying to change the composition. So uh, I could be putting on muscle right now. So it's kind of tough to like say I need five pounds of uh, weight lost, you know, so. All right, so I'm gonna take that little video for my coach and then get that sent off to him and let's see what the game plan is for the day. Running businesses, bodybuilding, family, you have to have a balance. And then in bodybuilding, when you're doing competition, you pretty much have to be all in, right? You gotta make sacrifices. It's a very selfish sport. There's things that you need to put aside that you know maybe you don't wish you had to, but in order to be the best, you have to. And uh, there's just no way around that. Look at this. Vic's already making a shopping list. Oatmeal, eggs, I love this thing. You can like put, you put down things and then, oh, rice, rice cakes too. She loves the rice cakes. Hey, you stay away. This is not for you. Dad needs these gains. You already ate. And you, little rascal. At any level, bodybuilding is expensive because you gotta follow a diet. I mean, just to buy your chicken alone, you could be looking at a couple hundred dollars, you know, a week or a month, you know? It's, it's very, very expensive. When I was starting, I'd go to school and then I would go training and then I had a part-time job to pay the bills. I moved uh, away from my hometown when I, when I went to my first year of college. I was like 18. And uh, you know that you have to grow up very fast, and you know you need to learn to, to do things for yourself. And I think it was one of the best things I ever did because I had to learn life myself, and you know I had to work for what I have. Welcome to my gym, Flex Flex Muscle and Fitness. This is 
where I turned pro, a lot of memories, man. When I first opened this gym, I had a bed in the back. I worked about 24 hours. I literally lived here. I had a microwave. I go to Farm Boy, get my f food for like already cooked. I would microwave, I would do like oatmeal, I would do shakes, I would do cream of rice, and I just make it work, man. But I lived here and, you know, we just made it happen. It was not always easy. Um, at the beginning, it was a real hustle, but it was a dream of mine and I, I wanted to do whatever it took to make it come true. The ultimate goal for me would be to be up on the, the Olympia stage battling out for first and second, man. I just, I think that it, they're, they're like, when I see those videos of R Ronnie and Jay, like there's nothing that fires me up more than that. There's some days, you know, where you're like, okay, things aren't popping, things are this, certain scenarios, but then you gotta kind of know the vision, like what you can be. So I always like, feel like, like the law of attraction, like if I wanna get bigger biceps, I wanna grow bigger arms, I think about it visually and then I'm gonna make it happen. I'm pretty happy with what I see in the mirror, but I know I can always be better. So every day I'm just chasing to, to dig deep and do whatever I can to make my physique better. All right guys, welcome to my old neighborhood. So we moved from the east end of the city to the northwest and it's like pretty much like a different city inside. Like the east end here, it's, it's very like rough. Every three days that we'd see police. This is our house right here, number 36. This isn't a house that I was ever like proud to be in or anything. Now, uh, I, we did, I did buy it when I was 22. You know, I was very uh, lucky to be able to do that. Uh, it was a very cheap place and uh, luckily over the four years it ended up being a very good investment. You know, it wasn't ideal for me to live here, but it is what it is and uh, it got me to where I am today. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy uh, about the process. I had a lot of projects, a lot of ideas, a lot of things in my life that, you know, come up and I want to do them and I'll, maybe I'll start them. Maybe I'll spend a few days on them. Maybe I'll spend a few months on them. and. I don't end up finishing them. And bodybuilding is just one of those things that I have never, ever, doesn't matter what time of day I get my ass to the gym. And I love it. There's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm getting the training in. If I'm not on a regimen, on a diet, and I'm not training, I'm, I'm like not happy. Like it's just those two things make, make me happy. And if those two things are like working, everything else is, is, is great. Mm -hmm. 